They say age is just a number. Well, I know I certainly don't feel 79 years old, even if I might look it. And getting old can really be a laughing matter. Author and healthy aging advocate Kay Francis is here with her tips on getting the most out of the rest of your life. Welcome, you came just in time. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Well, you certainly, uh, I don't, okay, nobody's believing you're 79. Let's just put that I out know, there somebody right said, there. No, oh, you nobody's. Look, you look young for your age. You don't look a day over 65. And I said, what? I was thinking 40. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So what made you want to focus on healthy aging? Well, when I turned 40 and I realized that I, the longevity in my family is terrible. It's about like a moth, really. All of my grandparents were gone by the age of 60. Ooh. And if it is just genetics, I have about five minutes left to live. Oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm actually feeling a little faint. You better so hurry. I hope <laughs> yes. there's a paramedic uh, here. So it just made me realize that when I, when I looked at it though, it really wasn't just a genetic thing. It was a, it, they like to live really large and check out early. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And I looked at a lot of, of health choices they made and that sort of thing. I just made the decision that I don't know how long I'm going to live, but I want to feel good while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I also read some studies on it, and it's only about 25% uh, genetics. And it's oh, about 75% right. lifestyle choices for longevity and the quality of he your health while you're here. They've done studies on identical twins. Now, you have written a book about handling stress. I have. It's called The Funny Thing About Stress. Available there on Amazon.com. There is a funny thing about stress. Huh. Yes. So does that age us? Is that one of those things we can control? Absolutely. And you certainly can control how, you, how well you age and how you feel about it. And there's, there's some certain elements to do. They've done studies on people that are over 100 years old, and not only over 100 years old, but active and productive mm -hmm. people. Mm. And they looked at what their character was. They've done exhaustive studies. Ah. Number one was optimism. So here are the tips. So yes. we can age with zest. Absolutely. Optimism. optimism. Okay. And, and optimism, is ju it just feels good anyway. And that's oh, at any yeah. age. And when I say aging, I don't mean past 30, 40, 50. I mean when you're 16, you're going to be healthier if you're a more optimistic mm -hmm. and person. And people will like you more. You're more fun to be around. I mean, pessimists are no fun, you know? They're the kind of people that, you know, you could win the lottery. You know, guess what? I won the $100 million lottery. And they go, you know, you're going to have to pay taxes on that. Oh, <laughs> yes, you're so right. You're You'll so be right. lucky if you end up with $50 million. <laughs> you know, somehow I'll make ends That's meet. so sad, it's yes. It's the truth. So, and so tip number two tip is number keep two, moving. Keep moving. Mobility is so important, and it's, it's absolutely vital. And you just have to find something. If you don't love it, it's got to be at least something that you can endure if that makes sense, mm -hmm. but you have to keep moving. Think of a car that just sits for 10 years. It's gonna dry rot if you don't change its oil, take care of it, and it's the same with the human body. So we just simply have to keep moving. I'm on a quest to see all the national parks. That's what I want to do. And oh, I mean, I, I granted some days I'm on a quest to get up out of the bed. I mean, I know that, but but that's what I've put forth. And I don't want to just visit them. I want to experience them. Uh -huh. So I'm 62, and I feel like I've got like 14 off the list, and there's 59 of them. So oh, wow, well, chop, 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 keep move out. That's Humor it. is one of them. So you might have to laugh about some of that 59. Absolutely, you've got left. absolutely. <laughs> and the Everglades are just down the road, so I think they're yes. on the list. It's been there. Okay. I've been there. Yes. So. So the last thing is, and, and I know you guys certainly know this, and you're certainly walking this talk, but it's to keep your sense of humor. It is. Humor is vital. And I know it sounds like a really fluffy concept, but it is absolutely vital to keep your sense of humor. All those feel-good emotions really affect the body physically. So you just have to laugh. You know, and things are going to go wrong. It more. Yep. I mean, I have to laugh at myself all the time. I can't even get up these steps without help, but I have a great time when I get up here. <laughs> I have a friend that's 95, and she said, Kay, aging doesn't hurt, it's just inconvenient. Yes, yes. it is. I thought that yes, was, it is. Well, we will read your books and we will be able to age with zest. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And you can find more information on Kay and her books by checking, checking out her website. Next, the laughs keep coming with this weekend's. McCurdy's comedy headliner. Yay, get ready to smile.